Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, OJ here, and right now this is the next matchup of NHL 24. And right at this moment we got a next great matchup in between the Eastern and Western Conference matchup. We've got Boston Bruins, and they are playing at Seattle to face against the Kraken. Now this team is a fun one for tonight, as we're about to be seeing one of the next matchups right in the zone, right by the two of the battle defensemen of offense and defense. The goaltender is a tough, tough and heavy one to take it all, but we'll see how well they do to give them that good look. The starting group lineups is being here as follows. As we start off here with the first part of the player, here for the Boston Bruins, they already got one of them to give it off to a start. As right now, here's the look at the angle as we see one of the followers. That has the player to do it right. David Pashinas has a snipe goal ability. He can play the Ely Puck sibling and can also do for a one long snipe range. To have that one an open look angle right toward his own. He can also do the ankle breaking, puck on screen, one T, tricky zone, and take the take feed. On the second one we have is Charlie McAvoy. The zone ability is to stick him up. The elite defensive stick, and it's also great for our highly anticipation and trying to pick him up with the poke check and a stick clip to have a defense set up. Brad Marchand is also a number of player that was played here on the X-Factor. This one calls for no contest. His Ely Puck battling on the board has a lot of it range. When he goes right through the puck, he can try to battle in between the offensive defenders. This is a hard range where he can try to grab it and then take him out. And then his old mark is your starting goaltender for the Boston Bruins. Instance is the Ely Puck anticipation. A lot of tough ones in the range out there, but there might be more to keep your eyes ahead. And on the other side right now, as we know that the Anaheim to Seattle, Seattle Kraken doesn't have anybody with the X-Factor players. Therefore, they're all five superstar players that are here with us. Vince Dunn, Jared McKinn, Adam Larson, Jordan Everly, Yanni Gordy, and Matty Beneers. And your starting goaltender for the Seattle Kraken, we have is a new one to be here, Philip Grubauer. And right now, we are about to be sending you down to Seattle. As right now, Terry Crews stands by, along with the other two, a test two, and a special guest of the show, is Bam. And as the center arts ability, we have across from here a son of beast. I'll be back here with the post game show right after the game. And now, let's get started. Terry, it's all yours. Planet Punch Arena, home of the Kraken, and they're facing against the Bruins, ready for the night's game. It's that time, that team we've been waiting for in Eastern and Western Conference. And here we go, the hitting starts now. Here's the Kraken, as right now we have a start. Vince Dunn over right by the Winniers, and a stop made by Goldmark. First one takes it over here and now finds Kerslick. Kerslick will have the puck. Fires it around the net. Finds it to Zaka. Now we're going to get a McAvoy. Finding again to Debrus. Debrus now finds McAvoy and now into Zaka. Zaka on his way down to McAvoy and now over to Debrus. Shoots away Kubawa with that first save of the night. Everly back the other way. In the Bruins territory. Finds a lift. McKenna! Oh, but it's a good back score. We have to look at it one more time. That's right now with me, fan, and test dude. As they have a look one more time of how this happened. Well, there's one way where we're looking at it. it because the puck was out there. It went banging from glass. Watch from here. He made that one a tr tricky shot. He had never seen that one going. It just went right around it. That was all it took. It just really turned out hard. Then it went right from glass, and then it went right towards the crescent. 
right where the goaltender used to be. He didn't really see what was happening, and it just went right around it. He never really seen that one going by. That was tricky. Yeah, I'd have to say it was a very hard one, but not to worry. There might be more to keep an eye up here for the Seattle on our way. The starting goaltender just turned out to be a shocking run. But right now, as of this point, we're about to find out who else can take here. Grubauer covers up the puck with only 17.34 to go. We're about to head from here for Seattle to enter their room. It's a one nothing game as the Kraken are on the top of the board. Here's right now, Larson. Fouling for the loose puck. In a chain, finds Kiki. Carlo back again to Lindholm. Lando brings it back over to Carlo. Shot! Here off the side of the glove. As right now, it turns to number save. Marshan, back in, blocked by Schwartz. Here's another one to take away. Hallmark with a stepping saving inbound. This took out a pressure. Here's Kiki. He finds again the Marshan. Marshan still recovers the puck. Looks it over. That puck leaves his own. And right now it's Portraits with the save. Oh, whip it down! You just really have to say. It's a lot of like a scientific ground knowledge. Isaac Newton's third generation law had to be like it's a, a collision to take over it from the triangle angle. He just really had to say. We make the collision, it's possible. Worth us to take it from him. That's a lot of taking him down. I've never seen what was gonna like happen from in between a range. I never noticed what was going to happen like that. But hey, not to worry, they've done their best. Shot sucked again by Grubauer. Have that one in range with only 15-01 remaining in the first period. The score still one ahead. Now ready for the next one up. They have another one for the poor gen, and they will have the puck inbound. Now it takes it over to McCann. Here's McCann right towards the center. Stop again here for the defender. What a great crouch down. The press right into the left wing. Gets tangled up. Kick the bucket soon. And Zaka will have to recover it without the goalie taking over. Shannon Kirk right over again to Forper. A lot of puck motion. Five posture knocks. McCann takes the puck away. Here's Beniers. McCann still has it out. Pushing and inbounding, and now back into the Seattle territory. Shot! Stopped away near the pin. Full pressure's on for the Bruins. They're still going. Shot picker. Forward. Looks it over. Butter! Stopped away here. Another bad one. Walker shot. Taking it back. Oh, group on save. Turn out big here for tonight. He's way that big. He's perfect on a run. I never noticed how this one turned out that a lot of successful range. This really had to be one by one. McCann shot went wide, and Omar will have to take it from here with only 12.27 to go. Here's the call as we have Son of Beats standing by. This one calls for Elias Omar. He has that one instincts, but it's only perfectionary to have his own ability. His timing can be a lot challenging when he has it all done. And as a big stunts, his superstar player ability doesn't can do everything that he wants to do. Those are the two matches I have a bad ones to take and there are ones that there's going to be a good way that they can try and take it all. We'll see what happens if there's a choice right in between. Scores! There's the goal! That puts Luke a tie run. Luke just had that rebound. When he put it back in there, the goalie was way too short. He just didn't say that he was ready to take the save. And it just hit him. It just went underneath the glove, and it just went right toward the inbound, right toward net. That's what happens. You don't get back into it. The Bruins and the Kraken are tied up at right now. 11.45 remaining. First goal coming in for Luke here against the Kraken. As right now, Larson will have that one puck inbound. Here comes Schwartz. Good stop by McAvoy. Here's Luke it. right now again to Laco. Laco, fire around the net. Larson will have it back. 
The offense keeps it pressure and now Dunn gives it over to Borkowski. Over now to Wimberg. That takes it over and now McAvoy will have it back. Still keeps it over. Marchand finds again to Coyle. Coyle takes it to McAvoy. Over down to Coyle. Coyle the backhand. Grubauer save. Marchand now finds again to McAvoy. Now goes over to Grisselcheck. Grisselcheck right by McAvoy. Puck taken battling back and forth. Now on full steam of pressure. This is no way. I have never seen what was happening. There was a lot of passes at this moment. They just really want more time to do this. They just didn't really want to say they can get over this. Take the way by the defender as right now Grubauer gives it over back again to Kraken territory. Wember still looking for his way down. Puck connection feed. Can't get away to go. Coyle trying to get a McAvoy. Here's another look. McAvoy fighting again over and out of the Marchand. Marchand finds Grizzly. Punch a shot. Backhand stopped by Grubauer. 847 remaining in the first period. As right now it's a tie game. They are looking for a next goal to take the head. It's still there. Looking for a goal in between Kraken or the Bruin. Here Schutz has it already to get a And Borshawn got a piece of it. Carlo has it back right in behind the cage. Oh, take a big deck. And now Tobin and finds some game yeah, one pass. Stop by Omar the bully way to one to go. Oh, this is really that tricky. I've never seen what Omar does. It's a lot of hard regain. This motion keeps on happening. They never seen what was going on going on like this. And they were saying they just don't want to get away with it. Omar big save. They finally have a mascot here for the Seattle Kraken. And we never know who that is. Well, it's a big mystery. You never see what's going to happen like that? Maybe you might know. This answer, I'm going to say the Seattle of the monster. He's ready to be here with us. His first time on ice with the team and the fans. Fan Revis finds Chandler. That's not the way here quickly. And our full pressure on the battle with a chain coming in down towards the puck zone. So and no way to get away around this. Walmart stop, and now Pasternak's back into the Kraken territory. Kick the puck right to Forberg. Pasternak keeps it up. Demolin has that one stick lifted with the poke check. And McCann has it on his way down into the Bruins territory. Boston has a gain of the puck. Zaka right into the corner. Looks over. Pass. Oh, that's a misconnection here. No way you can ever get around this. They just have to just try to leave it open with, with the gap. They need to try to like fix something else before they can get away with that. Everly shot stopped again here by Omar. Here's Lynn Homie will have this puck regain into the offensive zone. And now into the Bruins to the Kraken. Shot! The Fletcher didn't get in there in time as it went out. Marshan with the puck and now into the offensive zone finding Carla. Open look by Lindholm. Tarkan! Zaka! Total hit coming nine. And that will be another one for Schultz. Here's the Mullen right toward again the Beniers. The Mullen will have it over. Schultz! And racing towards the great stop here by the Omar pressure. The Mullen has it right down here, back behind. Schultz finding again the Beniers. Kiki got that one. That Kiki motion. Motion of this one turned to be a lot of a heavy take. This offense is not even turning out well. I just never see what was going to happen. Take the rebound. No way it can give or go in the zone of the net. And it takes state up. Here's Yamato. And he'll have that one but stopped again by Omar. Coyle has it right down in the pass. Now finds will look it. Over down to Kiki. Kiki, pass, broken up, and this will go right into the Bruins' territory. McAvoy will have the puck into the offensive zone, will now try again for the top. Loco, right into the corner. Preacher, called up by Kupar. Two for team left in the first period, as it still rounds up the beats tied up. 
Still lots of time left in this frame. They still need to get that one, but the goal is still tied. Now the wing comes in. Here's Larson. Passes out to Dunn. He looks over to Borshaw. It's under two minutes remaining in the first period. As right now, here's Gordy. Gordy up. Didn't really have to bite that down. But we'll try again from here. Larson. Chop blocked. Behind the net is Grizzly. He now finds Lock going now. Over to Gamma Preacher. Preacher! Pumble down right for the Kraken. Shot score! Back up boy with the easy motion. 42 goals in his game. He's really into a topic now. All they say now is McAvoy, he just made the defense, and now it's better offense. I can tell you now that McAvoy was looking over. He can make that one and squeeze in motion right by Grubauer. He really has that on, he can take it away from you. It's excellent now, I just have to say from trying McAvoy, he's had a great luck. What a pressure. It's a 2-1 game to start for the first period, as right now it's starting to wind down in the first period. Just one minute to go. Now here's Larson. Finding again to Budokowski. Grizzly right finding him. Pass out back to Larson, and now again a bumper shot. Oh, with a big save. Now finds Van Ruskin. Van Rusk right over it again. Now finding over is Frederick. Here's Portas. Portis to put McAvoy shot. Rebounder takes it away, and Rubauer will have that one taken away. Done with the puck. Pass to Borkowski. Take it in, and stop the way by Elberg as the boss is sound. So that ends the first period. Great move by McAvoy. And we'll be right back with you to cover up our second period right after this. Welcome back as we're about to start the second period in Seattle. And we are ready to go. With all that first accomplishment in the first period, let's see how they did with the recap. Let's take a, take a look for, uh, for the best play of this game. You know, I have to say, it looks like it's a lot that hard. To maintain the offense, it was very that tough. To make the piggy it look snappy, it just really a lot, they say, they didn't really want to hustle it down. But that first period got me questioning. How did that one happen with the puck right into the glass and then turn it right away into the goalie's net right towards into the crescent? It never really seemed to get right into this one. It was a close call, but then they just had that goal. That was a lot of a creation. I'd never seen it before, but that was like how hard it turned out. That was like amazing. I, I agree because it was a lot of great offense. And now it looks like they're ready to do this one again. Ossidox firing the puck around. No up and offense has been changed out, and now Dunn will have it here. Here's Beneers. We'll have it back. Now finds McCann over to Everly. And Landholm will have it here. Taking the puck. Nice move by Lindholm. Ossidox over it again to Coyle. Coyle still holding on. Larson can't get enough for Marchman to go with another goal. Wenberg finding again to Borgowski. Looks it around, takes it away. The offense is stopped again with a shot wide. Dunn has it back now, finding Wenberg. And Wenberg on his way, approaching down, stopped again by Omar. Short shot, handling it up with a choppy shot. Borgowski stopped it away here by another goaltender of a night. It's really hard because he was not getting out there really well. It was not that easy. How are we going to get there? Offside whistle here on Boston Bruins with only 16 17 remaining. It's all that pressure right now. Unfortunately, David Pasternak, he's out of here. So he's going to have to be sitting in a locker room right from this game. Thank you so much, Seth Stude. Now here's Burkowski. He'll all have the puck in face out transition. Got bangled hit. Batmeyers will have the puck here right in the offensive zone. Oh, man, there's another one takeover. Forward on his way down. From the corner. 
taken alive. And Murkowski on his way down. He could be going around and rush. Oh, poke checked away. Nice stop by a defensive recovery. Here's up again by Frederick. He's way down. Goes down. Bangled it out. Frederick doesn't want that. And by Myers. Stop by number one by Groupon. There's really going to be a lot of a heavy takedowns here. I must say that Group Bauer, he just really said that was all I need. It was tough for me to try to stay in bound. Nobody has the right injection to make that one maintain. I had to do this on my own. And that was how he definitely stayed out. Yeah, a lot of great impact to motion. I like that one, Paul. Tolman and the Buck here right down into the center of the zone. Hit the check. What a stop here by the Bruins. Here's Larson back the other way. Everly on his way down. Gets a bingo rough up. Beecher. And now McCann will have it back over to get in the veneers. McAvoy giving a puck battle with the loose chain. Here's veneers. Everly. Hold it back here as Omar gets another huge save. Flotko, right in it. Fast break. Stopped by Groupon. The bad timing has been released as right now they're ready for another face-off. This all has to be another one to get that one right away. You can't let a win without getting attacked. Two teams are set, ready to go. It's a 2-1 game for the Bruins. Now here's done. Pass is over now to McCann. And Zaka will have the puck back. Pass back over again on Here's McAvoy. Headshot over the net. A good stop made by the goaltender. Everly fires it around the net. Can't get an open play. The offense is now picking up another hustle inbound. Geeky fighting again to Zaka. Zaka finds it to Carlo. And now Lindholm will have it out here in recovery. Find Carlo again to Zaka. Short! Stop the gray here by Grubauer. The pro pressure still maintains for Grubauer. As I know, he's still stuck up. Lindholm from the Bruins. Takes it back to Carlo. Now finds Zaka. Zaka shot! Pop the way by Grubauer. It's easy enough to make the save maintain. It's all what they do. Keep it up. The pressure on the work still maintains for the Bruins as right now they still have it under 11 minutes to go. And right now it's another coming back in for the Seattle win. Barkowski right down in towards the center. Stick it away. Now back the other way it goes is to Marche. Oh, he went back in the corner of the wall. Good stop here. He still needs to get there alive. That has to do with the right timing. This needs to get this done right. Leno finds Carlo. Fires a puck. That's up, Karen. Get directed. Leno again. Fubar save. Under 10 minutes remaining in the second period. Still maintained with a one point lead. And finally has that face-off win for the Bruins. Borat, shot block, great defense. Offense finds Breacher. Now finds Shankerker. Shot scores! Wow, what a rocket one! This blast turned to be a target run as Shankerker has got 98 goals. His goal lead has to be a lot of a change. I can't say that Shankerker's that good, but he really has a great communication. It's an excellent motion. I saw that Shaker Curtis has been really lifting it. He goes right from the corner of the wall and then give it up to him. Pass, shot, and goal. That was why he was way open. Got a quick look. Shaker Kirk has a lot of it, ultimate restraint. It's a lot of the courtesy to maintain it. But as all it does turn out, he just really loved that pass when he goes from the direction of the hit. It just turned out very easy enough that Shaker Kirk had that one with the goal. Looking for a hundred goals in this game from his career. Second Kirk back in the other side, and now Forbeck. Oh, big dunk double. Look at him. We'll have the puck here right down here behind the cage, and now we'll have to leave it off the group. 
Luke it finding again to Forbert. Forbert pass. Doesn't hit the connection feed. Domola now finding Borshan. Little bit of a hip check here. No icing as whistles on Seattle right now. They are back in the airway as a deep pass to Pritchard. Now looks to Luke it. Luke it. Oh, just gets squished over into the corner. Hit off the side of it. And Benitez will have it back. 7.30 left to remain in the first, second period. And it's over! Oh, wow! Momentento! Just have to say thank you for the game. And now we have the call. Charlie McAvoy, as said, he stands by. Charlie McAvoy has a stick him up motion. His defensive setting is a lot of courtesy to make that one help. His motion, motion range has it in between right from, it, from here and there. It's tough for us to say, guys, as right now, Charlie McAvoy might be looking for another defense set to have it all carried out. I'll try to watch on him to see how well he does here in his game. Back to you. Pass back to Poitras. Poitras finds Frederick. Fires around. Back again to Bamley. Gives it back to McAvoy. Looks at Berlin. Oh, oh, and he lost it. Better goal for the Bruins as Lindholm has 68 goals. Turned out that big, and he has the, his all-time goal on purposes. They just really have to say there's a lot of way to make a maintaining goal and just get it out. It's all what Charlie McAvoy does. The take the tape right over to Lindholm and just have that when I release the kid right from between. That turned out a lot that big, but you know, Charlie McAvoy has that one, and that point setter branch. 6.07 to go in the first, second period, as right now Osayek will have it here. Pass to Winberg. Winberg, oh, Omar can say hello. And another one. Now Vines, great deep. Geeky over again to Carlo. Carlo gets smashed down with the slash out. Here's Saka, tries to give up the run, can't get the pass to score. Lindholm, just had to get away with it, and Kiki, oh, got double man defender down. Burakovsky right over to get into the offensive zone in the Bruins territory. Still covered up, now another way to Carlo. And that pass won't make a connection here. Finds again at the brass. Oh, that put it up with a bang wall. It's easy to say that that reaction turned to be that quick. He just went out there and says, come here, you. And then he just went out to just hit him out. Hit the goal post. That is way out of the mark. Turn it over now to Kiki. There's a lot of goal posts, I gotta say. This was a hard one. Nobody has ever gotten that one to make that one trick. I just really wanted to say that this is hard. Maintain the pressure run there, gentlemen. There's a range that they, need. they really haven't done anything that much. They have more to give them up. Here's Stein with the puck. Finding again a Burkowski. Shot stopped again by Omar. Looking past. Over again. Kiki over right now on the other side is Vemmers. Here's Schenker. 2.41 remaining in the first, second period of the game. Recovering by the offensive zone and perfect shot. Oh, that's another huge save by Benbar. Krubauer, sorry about that. Done in this way. That bad up with an easy save for the textbook of Omar. McAvoy went down. Ben Myers will have the puck. Kick it up the puck settling. They can still have it. some hard time. They need to get this one right away to get back in to cut down by two. Oh, that was close. He's really that tough. It just had to be a lot of deflection in out of here. They just don't want to get away with that. I see a Swiss on Boston Bruins with a minute and 16 to go. And they still need to give an eye on target site to go for another goal to get right in toward a crack here. Now the win, what's up with Schultz? Everly, McCann, back hit, stopped again by Omar. We are down to one minute remaining in the second period. A lot of takedowns in between as the Mullen will have the puck. 
Emily will have it right away. Give it back to Benitez. And Lindholm gives it out to Bamwicks. Pass down to Poitras. No offside whistle. Gives a good look. And Frederick will have it back to Carlo now find Lindholm. Oh, he wants to say charge. And Borshawn has it back. Easy to say enough. No way he can't get away with that. Buck leaves his own, and no call with a buzz killer with that goal. That ends the second period. A lot of banging oopsie doodles here, and that turned to be a lot of defensive crack and takedown to make that unleash. We come down to the end of the second. Third period's underway. 4-1 is the score. We'll take a quick break when we come back. This is it. The third period is where we stand off for the last one in. And now we are ready. Hope you're having fun with us, but it's right now a 4-1 game as the Boston Bruins have it already underway with the pressure, looking for another win to get back for two seasons in the game. They lost last time in the first season against the New York Rangers. How does it really turn out that they haven't made that loss there, guys? While tough one has already been around the ball, I just never seen what was going to happen. It's because the New York Rangers have really been trying out they were just going to get their safe. Because now at that point, if they don't win, that's a shame. They don't have enough momentum to get away with that. If the Rangers have a lot of their bounce, I just have to say it's going to be tough one. Oh, you may never know what's going to be happening, is there? Well, I guess there might be. I guess that the Bruins may have another win with a possible look. Well, you may have another angle at that one, so you'll have to give it another one of your own. <laughs> oh, man. I just never know what's going to be happening. Like, but this is a fun one. Enjoy it for this game. Can't bet you out of here. You won't have to deny that one. But you always enjoy it and comedian it. Yeah, of course. Both players set, ready to take the face off with only 18.27 to go. Now there's another win, and here's Larson. He'll have the puck right away back again to Dunn. And Dunn went down! Big hit for the Bruins! McAvoy with the puck. Now on his way down into the Kraken territory. Larson takes the puck away. Here's another one for many years, and he's as out of here. McCann gets swiped out of there. There's a lot of hits in between for the Bruins and Kraken by Bear and the Octopus. Well, it's going to be a tough one that nobody has ever done. But be careful though, they don't want to get that one smacked up if they can try to stop it. Just go right in between, just get out of here. Now for the win for Seattle. Here's Osaya. Great stop by Frederick. Vermeers. Puck around the forwards. Point trucks, gets the puck, now finds Kresselcheck. Here's McAvoy, right around it. And goes back over again to Kresselcheck. Fires and stopped away by another huge goaltender stop. Point trucks, and the team carries offside. 16.30 to go in the third period. Looks like they're going to have to get a little replacement for the Seattle Kraken if they can't get away with that. Not just all the time, they just really have to just, like, step it up again. Can't get away with this. Here's another one for Borton as it makes another win. And now Breacher. Beecher lost the puck in bounding. And now it's fined over it again to Schwartz. Schwartz makes his way down. Sidesteps the motion. And back again to Carlos over it again to Laco. And Pep went off. Laco still recovers it. No offside has been whistled. Blowed it up. Stopped it everyone for the goaltender. Locko. Trying to take it from here. Borgen. Stopped by Schwartz. Fires it away. From corner wall. Here's Kiki. Deep pass to Breacher. That took a poke check. Way hit. Oh! Hit the check out of here. Just going to make a big bang. Heavy tackles just really gets to say, I'm going to come and crush you. This really is a lot of a heavy taunting rivals. Gotta watch out with that. No way can't do. There's no way I can't let that one watch. Lordy! Oh, Omar, man, that one a big earlier. 
Pass to the press. Moves over to Zaka. Taken along the way by Borja. And the press has it back. Here's Snarker. Finds the press. And now Kiki will have it. Kiki on his way. Back and oh! Almost out of the way out of here. And we have a delay penalty call. That'll be on Zaka with the interference. And now they will have the power play to start for the Kraken. And you know it's easier enough because when you put up an interference, you know you're going to get caught because that's what happens. You make an easy call. Nobody likes that. Seattle Kraken on the power play run to get started. And now for the win. Here's McCann. Looking for his way and Schultz finds Berkowski. Buck lifted. Easy run. Schultz finds Everly. Fire shot. Omar carried up with a glove save. He's on a quick muscle. I can just say that Omar has his quick feet. Just looking open, wide impacts. Now ready for our face-off look. It's in between for Kraken with a continuous power play run. McCann locked away. And Carlo will have to clear the puck out into the Bruins territory. Here's Schwartz. He will have it now as Veneers will take it from here. 12.40 to go in the third period. Fires away. That shot kept wide. Seattle tries again for the trout top. Burkowski on his way down into the ocean. And here it goes to tripping. Here we're going to call it with a 5 on 3. As right now, Frederick is in the penalty box. There's no way that you can't make the final tripping call easier. Because their team, if you wipe them out, that seriously is going to leave them on. You don't want that. And that easy way into the center ice, that's going to be a bad idea. You don't want this. And that's what happens. Stay out of it. And now McCann. How to love a save made. McAvoy flings it up. Schultz will have the puck in now, backing again to Yamamoto. 12 minutes remaining in the third period. And Schwartz, way alone! Oh man, that's another curry stop by the goaltender. Omar on a roll and putting it back the air away. Yeah, I gotta tell you now, Omar's been carrying it out, just lifting it. He just really wanna make a stop out of it, that's all he does. Back again to McAvoy. Clear it out. Now they're back into the four on five power play run as Seattle keeps their live man advantage on. Tominen, Yamamoto on his way again. Taylor Kurt, oh, take a look at that. That's a depressed as Gerselcheck got a block rejection out of here. McCann's got it now. Here's Schwartz, he will have to take it over for the other side. And Tominen on his way down. Tries to carry it open. Looks like Yamamoto. And he put it in. He scores. Power play runs it on. That's number 51 in a major career. You know what? Yamamoto was really able to do that. Between the squeeze the legs. And watch what happens. He just really went right from here. That's when you just noticed that you didn't spot on. We go squeezing in. And the Bruins didn't see what Omar was going. Gotta keep it out. Can't leave it open. Now the win for that one for Kraken. Quail still recovers the puck. Here's another one for, for Geeky. Kicks the puck. Battling for the loose puck. In the chain, now finds Marchand. Looks over to Forbert. Forward shot. That put it up with a big Zeus. Logged up by Krupar. 5, 9.49 to go in the third period. They're still looking for a close run to keep the game alive. Let's see what the call is as Senefi stands by. It's great to see that Olmark is an unbelievable stop. And also, he was the best goaltender of the game of the year of the season for 2022-2023. I love this hustling because his inbounding was turning out the best. What a way to make him run, and a payoff to have that one with a, with a great option to have it all take out.
Here's Larson, he has that puck right down at the center ice. Schoenicke, by Schwartz, stop the way here, and Schoenicke will have him back. Gives off to Frederick. Looks at Ben Muskin. Grubauer, oh man, he got a good one. With a glove one, and now he has, he has it right away with 8.3 to go. Both teams are set. Ready to have another faceoff look. Boston's ahead with two goals in the game. It's a 4-2 run, and now Dunn has it all. In the attacking zone. Dunn looks over to Everly. Shot. Oh, Omar. Where did that one come from? Shot went deep, and Kubauer will have to give it off to Larson. Frederick takes it over into the Kraken territory. The Bruins still have the possession right now with only 7.45 to remain in the third. And now McCann has it over to get him to Dunn. Dunn moves it away. Ramoskaius will have it over back again to Zaka. Fires it around the net. Frederick will have the puck. In between right now, McAvoy in here to Breslin. Oh man, the defender is getting a right around to wrap it up. These defensemen are getting clearer. I used to never see what was going to happen. They're just making a whack out of it. Rubauer has it over now to Dunn. 6.30 left to go as Everly will have it here. Fires the net. Looks again to the Brutz. Now Carl will have the puck in range or on the offside. And yep, he went offside as well. And that's why it's Boston Bruins offside of a game. Now back into the offensive zone, ready for our faceoff. It's still a 4-2 game as Boston leads up by two with only six minutes between the third. Osayek finds again to Tobinen. Tobinen finds her again, and Omar save. 5.49 to go in the third period. It is still a 4-2 run. Still looking for another goal to take it from here. Yeah, that's what they absolutely do. Do you think this is one of the players for you, Testu? Or are you going to do it for real? You know, I wouldn't complain about that. <laughs> you just don't have to worry about me for that block. Yeah, definitely I would have to like that too. It would have been nice. Warjan has to finally take it over and now finds Osaya. Tobin in. Trying to bump him out. Carlo with the puck. And Carlo has the puck carried over and now finds Lindholm. Beecher right into the offensive zone in the Kraken territory. Gets slammed down. What a stop by the defensive player of the run. This always has to be improving. I just didn't really notice that he was going to be a bang out for the side of the hips. And that would be fine. And deflected back in, we have a goal in Preacher. That's his first goal in the season. As it now with the extension, one nothing to five and for two. I need to look at it again. I just have to just tell you that it just went on the uh, goaltender and it wouldn't stop. But Unfortunately, he was saying that there was a, a mistake there. That really has to be an error for Seattle Kraken. Looks like their extension run has been turning out to be way off the top end. As right now, the Bruins is taking a 5-2 lead in for the third period of the third game. Yeah, everybody does that one for all. I know it was a hard one. Bob clears out into the Kraken territory. And Portrait will have it back. Here's Schwartz. Schwartz carries it over into the other side of range. Now find Winberg. Move around. Omar. The battle line. Geeky. Girls like right behind Borja. Here's on side. And now it's the Kraken full pressure scheme. Three minutes left. Geeky. Lost the fucking control. And now finds Winberg over to get to Borja. Borja right into the corner. From the side, Wimber shot, he scores! It's not done yet. As right now, the score has been picked up, and that is Borja, his third. There are many 
wrestling about him, and they were saying he lost it with the punt and 4 That's when you know when his deflection turns in. That's when you can definitely get there from the assist by the other player. Kraken staring down with only 2.37 remaining in the third. Wimber with the assist had that with a great timing with the pass look, and it turned out that great than they every other player's did. What is that to say, you guys? Well, it's a tough one, I can definitely say that Wimber got a great deflection right away, and he had that with a lot of timing to do his own ability. It's all because of what it does happen right now. He was ready to go, and that's what happens. They really have to enjoy it, and that's why the deflection turned out to be a help. For the offense. Yeah, I agree because everybody loves that deflection. They would like to have that one taken over. A minute and 50 left to remain. It's in the third period. Five and three to score. Looking for a chance to take a close game. And Borgin will have it back. Oh, get a little swiped up here. Brokowski right towards the slot. And hit off the stick. Gate of the stick. I'm sorry. Borges finds again a bird. Looks finding over to Boitras. Boitras to call up. One minute left to remain in the third period as the time runs down. And Frederick will have it back. To pass the bench up. And Grubauer stopped the number bit save. Locked away. Now I believe is back into the offensive zone. And you're having an extra skater to come on. This offense is not always the bit tougher than you have to be. Because this was a lot that hard, but he can't get away with this. Everly right into the offensive zone. Oh, took it down. Mid-pant shot. Locked away. And Marco. Fling it out. Icing on the Bruins with 6.2 seconds to go. They always have to say, that's a great take down with the deflesh right from in between in the it's a center ice. They just really have to go from big. Bang in motion, that's what's Belcher. Doesn't have to be included enough to do a lot much hard work. And stop save, here comes Big by Omar. Beecher ends their game. The Bruins have their win to take their road over to facing the win off by the Kraken. Allmark is an all-time terrific save of his goaltender. He was a deliverer to, to be the star of the run. Yeah, everybody loves that Allmark does. It's great to have mine. We all loved it. Yeah, great night so far. And now, they're going to have to go home and start training. With me, Terry Crews, along with Testament Band and the Center Ice of Sonic Beats, this is their presentation of the NHL 24. Thanks for joining us and see you next time. Oh, I thank you very much. As right now, this was all it does turn out as we take a look from here, just right in between the players of how it exactly turned out. We are about to find out the three star players of the game. Let's start off with the first star. The first star has nobody here but a Seattle Kraken. Bruins turn to be Charlie McAvoy, and all kind of coupled out. Good pass and a goal. And your first star goes out to John Beecher. A goal, two assists, and one hit. Only a turnout with a slap shot. He's got a great look of the skill. All that pass is turned to be Boston Bruins with a tough relationship to have that goal and win off after the Wilds in the last season. And for this season, it does happen again. Great hit, great work. As right now, we have a look at the total statistic run, 49 over 48 for Boston Bruins with total shots. 50 over 31 for Seattle. 1153 over 447 for Boston Bruins. 92 over 78 for Seattle. 35 over 1 as Seattle has gotten a lot of face off, a lot of aggressive look. Great passes. This offense keeps on going. Four minute penalty kill was Boston. And no penalty kill turned out the other team of the Seattle. Only one power play goal for Seattle at 2.52 was the power play minute that they have done. So that is it for the third game. Well, we'll be more soon. If to come, 
and we'll have to find out who the next matchups are. With me, OJ, along with the other groups of the team. Well, I hope you appreciate the, your next game, and we'll look forward to seeing you for our next NBA game. If you'd like to see some more of the uh, previous games, check out the playlist here. That will take you right into the playlist spot of Season 1 and 2. Let's see how they can do with the next new season to keep on wrapping up to go up ahead. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everybody, for a while. It's the NHL 24 dial, and I'll see you all next time. Good night in Seattle, along with Boston and the Bruins. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.